So throughout this week, a lot of panicked people came over saying, oh my god, my transaction's stuck, I can't send coins to an exchange, can't interact, I'm stuck, help me, help me, help me. And this video is really to fix two major problems that a lot of people have been encountering, specifically the stuck transaction and also an unresponsive MetaMask. So if you have any of these issues, this video is really for you. So for step one, you just have to find your own cryptocurrency address. So if it's on MetaMask, it's just up here and you're going to paste that into EtherScan. I'll put the link down below. The whole idea is you're going to scan to find out what the problem is, going to diagnose it. So EtherScan here is showing me a bunch of pending transactions. And this is most likely the case for a lot of people. Maybe you're just trying to like hit the button, keep on sending, but it's not working. Why? And in fact, if you just take a look at this, say, for example, the most recent transaction, you can actually see that I've actually typed a very expensive gas fee, and even that's not going through. Reason being here is that Ethereum operates on something called nouns. This decides the order of the transaction. So in order to fix your stuck transaction, you got to fix the one with the lowest nouns first. This is why Etherscan actually kinds you remind you that there is a pending transaction with a lower account nouns. So you got to fix the root of the problem. That's very, very core to all this. So let's go back. Let's find out what the root of the problem is. So this is nouns four. Let's scroll back one. Very likely the no lowest nouns is the one on the bottom of the list. Let's just click on here. Now we're going to click more details and you can see that this is nouns three. So three is lower than four. This is the transaction that's causing the problem. So now we've identified the offending transaction. We also have taken a look at the gas price. It's roughly at 70 gray right now. And the nouns position is number three. Next up, I'll show you how to do this on MetaMask. You can do it on any other wallet. It's usually, this is usually in the advanced features, but for MetaMask, go to settings, go to advanced, scroll down a little bit, and you'll see something called customized transaction nouns. Just make sure this is on. This is usually not on by default. The way I've decided to fix a transaction is to send zero Ethereum to myself. So really that does nothing. It costs a little bit of gas, but it just resets everything so I'm on an empty clean slate. So in this case, I wanna just make sure I just click the send button here. So I'm sending to myself, let me copy my address, send to myself, I'm sending zero Ethereum. I wanna take a look at the current gas prices as well. So I'll go to ETH gas station. I'll find out what the fast rate is. Okay, sure, it's 122, 122, enter that in. Now, once you hit the next button, you'll be prompted to send in a custom nouns. So you can see that it entered five by default. This is definitely not the number we want. We want to unfix nouns three. So I just type three in there. I'm click confirm and then we're good to go. So this is where now if you refresh, you can see this transaction should be pending through. Now the offending transaction has, um, the transactions first of all has completed. So two things just happened just now. You can just see two windows pop up on my computer. So first of all, I just click on this one. You can see that there was a fee of sending myself zero Ethereum. This was one the transaction with nouns three and it almost completed immediately. Now it also fixed the second transaction after that. So with nouns four transaction and also fixed that because this one had a very high gas fee as well. So you just see like almost these two transactions were like bam, bam after another. So you can see that we kind of fixed it by unclogging one transaction, the second one went forward too. So that's how to fix everything that's happening when you get a stuck transaction on Ethereum. A few things to also remember is that when you replace a transaction, you must, must have a gas price that is 10% higher than the original transaction. Otherwise, the network will not take it. And I've seen a lot of people error out this way. They just increase that gas price by just one because they're cheap, you know, like, oh, I'll just do it by one. But the transaction will fail and you'll, you'll probably not find out why. So mission complete. Yeah, we fixed the offending transaction and immediately transactions after that went very smoothly. So it's always about finding the transactions that's making everything stuck, finding that nouns of the transaction, replacing that transaction, and then you're good to go. All right, bonus round. So this is uh, some a few strategies I found over time to deal with some bugs that appeared as well. So first of all, sometimes I found that MetaMask just doesn't behave properly. 
and it just requires this minor reset. So what we can do is go to settings and then click the advanced button and click reset account. This will just clear a transaction history. It will kind of refresh everything and clear up everything, pending transactions, everything and whatnot. But it will not reset any of your balances. It will not reset your entire account. So just sometimes it does help. And something I find after clicking reset account is it's best to actually close the entire browser as well. So just close the browser, make sure that browser, the Brave browser or whatnot is completely closed, reopen it up again, and you're good to go. It, works wondrous for some reason. It probably is because MetaMask is such a clunky piece of software. It's not very cool, etc. This trick also works very well with the ledger. So if you're connected to a ledger, sometimes for some reason, it just bugs out. Something that you have to note as well for the ledger, the way I do it is I reset my account, just like I showed you. I also turn off the ledger. This is also very important. I just like manually force like two buttons if you're using, especially if you're using a ledger X, two buttons and then turn the ledger off, unplug it, and then reset everything, close the browser, and then turn everything back on. That's like the miracle cure I've done for everything. Anyways, guys, this is a very quick video. I hope this helped you getting transactions unstuck, especially right now during gas wars. Time is money, and you gotta make sure that transactions go through. If you guys found this helpful, make sure you click the like button down below and also the little subscribe button to subscribe to new videos when they do get launched. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next video.